सब्सक्राइब कीजिए धे आई चैनल को और बेल आइकन को दबाइए लेटेस्ट वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए In the previous week the UK's government's chief scientific adviser Sir Patrick Vallance communicated about a strategy that would permit the novel coronavirus to infect 60% of the country's population so that a degree of herd immunity could be achieved In this DNS we will understand what is the herd immunity and also some other information associated with it Let's first understand about herd immunity Herd immunity basically refers to preventing an infectious disease from spreading by immunizing a certain percentage of the population. This concept is commonly used in cases of vaccination. The idea behind this concept of herd immunity is that if a certain percentage of the population is immune, members of that group can no longer infect another person. This breaks the chain of infection through the community and prevents it from reaching those who are the most vulnerable. This scientific principle behind this concept is that the presence of a large number of immune persons in the community will interrupt the transmission providing indirect protection to those who are not immune. The epidemiologist use a measure called the basic reproductive number RO This will estimate the extent of spread and immunity. It will indicate how many persons can be infected when exposed to a single case. An RO of more than 1 indicates one person can spread the infection to multiple persons. Some of the scientific evidences reveal that a person with measles can infect around 12 to 18 persons and a person with influenza can infect around 1.2 to 4.5 persons depending on the season on the basis of the available evidences from china and according to various experts ro of covid-19 ranges between 2 and 3 furthermore there are three ways through which an infection can spread in a community the first looks at a community that is not immunized when two infectious cases both with an ro value of 1 are introduced there is a possibility of the entire community being infected with a few exceptions the second there may be some persons who have been immunized and only these immunized persons will not be infected when at least two infectious cases are introduced in the community the third there may be some persons who have been immunized only these immunized persons will not be infected when at least two infectious cases are introduced in the community there are multiple factors on which we can decide that a community has achieved herd immunity it depends on concepts like how effective the vaccine for a given disease is how long lasting immunity is from both vaccination and infection and which populations form critical links in transmission of the disease mathematically it is defined by on the basis of a number called herd immunity threshold which is the number of immune individuals above which a disease may no longer circulate the higher the ro the higher the percentage of the population that has to be immunized to achieve herd immunity to allow a large part of the community to get infected by the covid-19 is very risky this kind of strategy is dangerous and associates many unknown facts there is still not many information and known facts available about the behavior of the pathogen it can take months to build group immunity against covid-19 the basic need is to protect who are at greater risk especially the people above the age of 55 and those with cardiovascular diseases and hypertension are the most vulnerable there is still not any surety about the covid-19 we don't know whether one can become immune to the virus nor is it clear whether a person who develops immunity will remain prematurely immune